All right, so I am tired as fuck. I, like I said, I needed to finish this game as quickly as possible, so I've stayed up. Just, I don't even know how long it's been now, but look. I got, I guess, at level 90 now. Metis is at level 80, uh, 80, actually, I mean, exactly, yeah. And I was just gonna leave her at, like, level 70, but then I decided a, while, uh, a little bit before that to make this Beals above, dude. Just because I figured I, he seems like a pretty damn powerful persona. I know he's one of the higher level ones, like, not the best, but definitely up there. Um, and I wanted to get him all his skills, so I just kept going until I leveled him all the way up. And that got Metis to level 80 and I guess to level 90, so. It's better be enough. Because I, I mean, like, I was talking about how I was kind of getting, I was kind of getting done with Persona before this. And that, then I have to grind for all this fucking time. Oh my god, it was painful. I mean, thankfully, nothing, you know, like, every, I mean, there were a couple times that I died. But thankfully, every time that I died, um... Okay, we've already seen this, so let's... Yeah, man. Um... Thankfully, every time that I died, it was pretty early on, like, after I'd gone back and saved. Like, I mean, the deaths were pretty rare. I think I maybe died, like, three times. One of them was because I had just equipped Beelzebub. And I went back to the area I was in, not realizing, like, oh, these dudes were always using light attacks, and Beelzebub's weak to light attacks. Which, now that I think about it, Beelzebub's weak to light attacks. Ken uses light attacks. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to... I don't have any homunculus, that was my, that was my bad. I should have gone to the shops and gotten traded in shit for homunculus. That was my fault. I'll have to pick something else. I do have another one, too. I got three different personas. I got this dude named Horus, Beelzebub, and something else. I'm like dragon-looking motherfucker. Then I'll, I'll, equi I'll end up probably Let's equipping me. If you don't take... This... This will satis... Give me a second. I'll scan the target. I'll end up equipping is this one right here. This core you do. I'll probably end up equipping him, because see, he's not weak to anything, which is great. But then Horus is obviously also good, because Horus is only weak to dark, and neither of them use dark attacks. Ooh, he repels light. I want to go with that one, then. Or this... No, this one's weak to light, too. God damn it. See, Cert is also a damn good one. I'm going to go with Cert, actually. And I'm just going to blow off Eagle the fuck up with Ragnarok for now. I need your help! Sir does so much damage, dude. It's ridiculous. See, look at that. Dude, Akihiko's gonna get... You are fucked, dude. Ragnarok is so... Such a ridiculous... Oh, my God. Sir is just ridiculous. Because I've had him... Uh, he has growth three. Um, So, he's just been gaining level after level after level. Constantly. So, yeah, he's... Sir is scary. You might die in one more hit. Especially, okay. Now we got that. She might kill him here, actually. Aw, not quite. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for not attacking or doing anything. I appreciate that. That makes it easy. Fuck you, Ken! That shit better not heal as much as it- Oh, that is so dumb. Alright, well, I'm killing Ken first, then. That just sucks. Woo, that's what I'm talking about, baby! That's how we do! This fight is so much better when Metis doesn't just die in, like, one hit. Oh, we gonna- oh, we gonna get serious? We serious now? I'll show you serious. You gonna die right here. Fuck you. Boom! Oh, well, shit. 
Metis, you better kill that motherfucker. Okay. No. Hell yeah! This dude better not have any resurrecting abilities. He's gonna throw that out there right now. Yeah, boy! Getting this shit in! This fight is so much better when I'm not just getting the shit kicked out of me. And I am doing the shit kick outing stuff. Now I'm gonna switch to Beelzebub. The thing oh man, the thing about Beelzebub, he has this shit. He has this skill. Let's see how much damage this does in comparison to Ragnarok. It was like half the damage. But he has this skill that he gets. The le very last skill he gets at level 85 is called Victory Cry. And what it does is it restores all of your all of your HP and all of your SP after every single battle. All of it. That is fucking ridiculous and I love it. Didn't she just use power charge? Why the hell did she use power charge and then go with that? That was kind of weird. Uh-oh. Alright, switch it out to a healer. Who's my healer? I think it's Gabriel, right? Yep. Yeah. That's right, it's horse. I got my shiny bird. I could honestly probably just rush at this point and kill him. Fuck it. Let's go, Sir. Let's use another. I'm gonna use one more Ragnarok. And then I can switch back after that. Switch the fields up at the end. There we go. We might actually die here if she uses the right. Ah, oh, that wasn't right. We should have used a Kasha Arts. Her magic's definitely not up to par in comparison with her physical attacks. Not even a little bit. Alright, Beals above. I shouldn't have any. Well, she's weak to. I mean, Beals above is weak to fire. So. I guess I'll still have to worry about Koromaru. Damn fucking right. See? All her shit's back. Full HP, full SP. I don't know if it automatically heals you anyway. Akihiko san! Hamada san! What? What's happening? What the fuck? I told you before, if they lose. There will be consequences. What the fuck? They haven't died, but they won't return to their original forms until the true key oh, okay. is forged. You can no longer avoid fighting. No. You knew this would happen. Is that why you brought us here? What were you thinking? It's because... This must be my purpose here. If the fires burn out, they won't be able to return to normal even if the key is forged. We need to hurry, sister. Fucking Metis, crazy bitch. Don't call me sister anymore. Ooh. Man, you gonna make her mad. Do you... Yes. I'll still fulfill Would you my promise. Quick fucking no standing what, around. I will protect you, sister. Oh, that sound familiar? Oh, okay, so I can save in between. That's cool. I hope I can just finish this all in one video. 
watch like the next group B will be like level 85 or some shit and they body me and I have to go level up again. Just watch. They just want it. They just I, I mocked I mocked the game earlier for being like, hey, this isn't more difficult. What the fuck's wrong with you? And now they're just doing their damnedest to make me make me sad. See, so yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if I have Beals above equipped or not at the end because I'm gonna go back and heal at the lounge regardless. So I guess it ain't no pain. Seems next. I'm, gu I'm guessing Yukari and Mitsuru are gonna be last. This is probably gonna be Koromaru and Junpei. Which means I cannot use Beals above. But actually, if I use Cert, that's gonna pretty that's pretty much great for me. Because both these dudes use fire. Oh, poor Koromaru. I don't want to beat up Koromaru! What the fuck? I don't wanna do that. I can see what's going on. This is gonna make me real sad. No matter who our opponent is, I won't let them have my sister's I guess is key. I know, I know. It's cool. But you know, no matter which way this turns out, I just don't think Igus can win against Yucatan right now. Sorry. Bitch, I can beat the shit out of her! She doesn't have no Beals above! Yucatan's got it right either. Even if we go back to before the final battle, we're still squabbling like this. I don't know, do you really see us being able to pull off a miracle and do things better than he could? Me? I think this is something we gotta take care of on our own. I don't know, we'll find out, because we're gonna see both endings. Junpei-kun. I'll probably end up having to go through the last fight twice, though, or some shit. I doubt they'll let me save it before making a I'm decision. I'm not as much of a hard-ass as Akihiko-san, but I don't think we should mess with the past. Still, some things you just can't work out by talking about them. If neither side will give an inch, well, sometimes that's how things are gonna be. Right, little sis? Junpei son. Alrighty then. Let's get it on. You better not throw this fight. Actually, now that I think about it, using cert means I'm not gonna be getting hit. But using cert means I'm not gonna be able to use magic against them, because they should both be resistant to they should both be blocking. Fire. So I should try a different route. Get ready, cause here I come! <laughs> Alright. Don't we have any choice? I wanna to beat up Koromaru. I gotta beat up I'm Junpei to first, because Junpei might be able to heal. So let me see, does he have he doesn't. I was hoping he might have like the uh, fire break stuff. But he doesn't. I might just go with that on uh he's weak to actually they're both weak to dark, right? Yeah, so I can't be using either of them. I was going with him, I guess. Oh, evade fire, that's they fire, no strike, and no um, they use slash, though. Well, anyway, so far, Koryu's obviously the front runner here. Yeah. Looks like I'm going with Koryu, or how the hell you pronounce that shit. Plus, he can heal, so that's a bonus. Like, I can just... It's no, it ain't no fang doing. I'm just using like regular attacks or something. Yeah, so he nullifies fire, I'm sure. I'm sure Koromaru nullifies fire too. So I'll just go in on Junpei. You won't escape. Honestly, she'd do better if she just like used the regular strike attack. I don't know why she isn't. This one does more damage. I'm not in any danger right now. Oh. That's kind of a bummer. I guess that's why he's using magic. 
I'll have to heal next round anyway, so. Shit, 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 shit. Now here comes, that's the fun part, because I'm going to have to deal with that randomness. That was my fault again for not going and getting homunculus. That was my own damn fault, stupid of me. Why with Persona that can block? Nullify is dark. Hell's dark, but it's weak to fire, so that's an issue. Shit, strong against dark. I guess that's better than nothing. Nullifies, but then that's a, just a shitty persona overall. Damn it, man! That's my own fault for not leveling anybody up. Well, I guess I'll just stick with it then. That's gonna hurt. Should've, I probably should have gone for Koromaru first, just due to him using Madoon. will always be able to use it on you. I hate that shit so much. Damn it, he's so fucking close. I should heal. I should be safe. Take no chances, etc. As long as he just, as long as he's not using the goon, that's a good thing. Might be able to kill Junpei, no, never mind, because he has that defense up shit. Only way I'll do it is if I get a critical here. And I don't think Blizzard, yeah, that Blizz, the being frozen doesn't do that. I'm not entirely sure what being frozen actually does. So that doesn't seem to raise critical hit. I mean, like, because you know how you have, um, like, paralyzation? That shit gives you an automatic critical hit. And then you have other things which, like, raise the rate of critical hit, but I've never actually gotten a critical on something when they're frozen. So I don't even know what being frozen does. He's gone? Yes. Good shit on the Koromaru left. This one should be a lot easier. Actually, does he have high counter? I don't even know if he has counter or not. I can check. I think he does, actually. Oh, huh, well, of course, I can't tell. Why would I want to tell? I need to get 
get rid of that. That's not good at all. Dude, she might... Mm. Okay. Don't you dare be fucking paralyzed. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, come the fuck on. This sucks. This is horrible right now. Because now I know I have another turn that I'm not going to be able to do anything on. That's three straight fucking turns that I've lost because of this nonsense. Okay, that's good at least. Don't do that! I'm going to heal you next turn, you dumb bitch! I hate that I have to change her tactics just to make her, like, halfway not fucking stupid. Cormaro should have been dead by now, but I've missed three straight turns with Igus. Ah! Oh, there's another turn that I just missed. Because now I have to res her. God damn it. I'm telling you, man, instant kill attacks are just, they're never, I, I've never thought they were a good idea. Because, I mean, like, if they work on a boss, and that just makes that boss fight stupid. But when they work on you, it's, it's, like, it's equally stupid. It just sucks when they work on you. It's even worse when they fucking work on you. And it's in a game like this where they only have to take down one of your characters to, to like, wipe out your entire party regardless of how healthy everybody else is for some ridiculous reason. Because those 500 resurrection items that you're always using on them apparently have no effect on you. They can't use them themselves. Okay, so he does have a counter. Alright. So it does okay good. I'm done. I'm done. Thank God I'm done with the fucking ridiculous, stupid, horrible. Instant kill attacks now, because neither Mitsuru nor Yukari have that shit. So thank God for that. Man, I don't want to hurt Koromaru. Why you can't, Why can't I? Why can't I pick Koromaru for my teammate? God damn it! All right, so I'm gonna have to start another video. There's no way I'm gonna get through this in time. Junpei Kun, Koro Chan. I should go by Homunculus though, just in case. Like, why not? All of us. We were searching for the same thing. Our bonds were so strong. And yet, the next battle will be the last one. If we win, there will be no one left who can take. I like how we had to do all the fighting. That's cool. That makes perfect Is sense. This right? Like at the very least, Akahiko and Ken should have fought Mitsuru and Yukari. I can't stand it any longer. This is wrong. I can't accept either meddling with the past or proceeding blindly in the present. It scares me too to think about dying. But does that justify hurting the ones who are precious to you? <sighs> Blame Yukari. It's Yukari's if this fucking has to fault. Continue, I'm not going to be part of it. I'll end all this by giving my key to Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san. No! You can't do that or you'll... We don't know for sure whether or not that will happen. And I won't accept your input on this. It's my decision. But I don't have any memories. 
I only knew two things when I woke up. First, that I had a sister somewhere in the world who understood me. And second, a strong premonition that if I didn't do something, that sister would die soon. At first I thought it would happen because of the abyss of time, but that wasn't it. I understand now. The power you've gained comes at the cost of your death. Cost of my death. The answer to life. I went to see you so I could save you, but I ended up causing the power to awaken. That's why I made up my mind. I'd do anything to protect you, even, even if it meant you'd hate me for it. You're all I have in the world. Metis. There was a time when I felt the same way about someone, but I still can't hurt the people who gave me my heart, even if the end result of this power is death. I don't want you to die! <sighs> if you're not gonna give in, you still don't need to throw your life away. If you end up losing your key, I'll give you my life. I don't want you to die and leave me behind. I'd rather give my life and be alone. That way, I can always stay with you. What are you saying? <laughs> Please don't leave me behind! <laughs> Metis. It's okay. I'm sorry. I won't leave you. Quick turnaround. I thought I knew all too well the pain of being left behind. You show me so many things that I let myself forget. I. All right, let's move along. I want to go to bed. Our bonds are so strong. <laughs> Come on. There's no easy way out. If I gave up without making a decision, I'd be running away from the pain my friends must still face. <laughs> I think. I was running away from life again. I need to make a choice. I care about him as much as anyone else. Let's go, honkies. Fuka-san, there's... Huh? You too, met... <laughs> what? The time has come to make a choice. To return to the lounge. Cool. Good shit, guys. you money. Mitsuru goes fucking nuts. With... I'm not sure, but I'll go with that, I guess. Because I'll, I'll, I bet you Mitsuru will go nuts with Marin Karen, and I do not want to get bullshitted out by Charm. And I haven't had an issue with SP yet, at least in regards to just one fight, so I am definitely giving that shit to her. 